In a shocking headline, it was revealed that Supergirl has been canceled by the CW. <laughs> there was no shock, not really. The only real shock was when it kept getting renewed despite bleeding ratings for years. It just uh, is a pale shadow of its former self, but more or less a pale shadow of what it seemed it could have been. It had some potential, I thought. But it went off the rails in the usual templates that shows do, especially CW shows. Uh, and uh, was more or less just soap opera stuff and uh, virtue signaling and all that uh, as the cover for its uh, failings. Yeah, that's how that works. Well, then there's Batwoman. And, uh, well, I'm thinking Batwoman might also be in its final season, despite all the bizarre uh, deck chair shuffling that is going on with that show. So that's interesting. But Supergirl... Uh, does have some excuses that does do bear a certain amount of credibility. Uh, of course, the star, uh, Melissa Benoist, uh, is pregnant. And, uh, well, that, that can be a bit of a stumbling block uh, here for the story. And uh, that caused them some delays. But mostly, of course, was the lockdown for the outbreak. Yeah. And, of course, it just goes to show if your uh, particular business was strong, you can weather that storm. But if it wasn't, you can't. And boy, to the crack show. So, however, Supergirl will get be given a fairly sizable send-off as they're going to give her 20 episodes in the upcoming season, uh, which in a lot of ways is way too many for the material that CW usually has for its shows. Its best show is The Flash, and more than likely what kills it most is lack of material and uh, probably few shows, fewer episodes could help that out but oh well not gonna get that no no uh, they just want to punch out more uh but anyway so that's what she'll get and uh that's that uh it's too bad because as i said supergirl did seem to have some potential but then it just it just got lazy and went into identity politics crap as cover for its lazy lackluster plots uh, it is survived by the Superman spinoff, Superman and Lois, but if that show is just going to be Superman getting his nether regions kicked in by Lois, well, then it's probably dead on arrival. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, showing that there could be potential and there is possibility of life, uh, they recently had Stargirl, who uh, kind of shows you what Supergirl could have been. <laughs> and almost was in a lot of ways, but now it's Stargirl, but don't worry. Uh, know, knowing the track record of CW, they'll drag Stargirl down, too. Uh, so eventually they'll run out of material, I'm sure. And, and then that'll be all very sad. But Stargirl could limp along the way The Flash did, where every other episode might be pretty good. However, that last season of Flash just didn't have any good episodes. It was pretty bad. And uh, a good cast is not enough to carry a show that has no plot. So... Uh, we'll see how that works out. Sooner or later, CW superheroes uh, will either have to evolve or die. <laughs> and I think most of that will die and end up just being, you know, rerun product for HBO Max. And that's that. And then uh, the real shows will begin on HBO Max. However, if we were to take from the DC Universe app as to what kind of product they could produce, well, Doom Patrol was sort of good. Stargirl actually debuted on there, so if you count that, that's probably their best. Teen Titans had this great cast, but oh my god, that was terrible. Even though there was little sparkles of potential, especially with the Superboy story they did. Uh, that could have been interesting, but I just don't have much hope for it. Uh, and Doom Patrol... I was cool and atmospheric, but ultimately there's not a whole lot there either. It's very repetitious, um, and um, that's about it. So, um, we'll see how that works. Their next big production, besides, of course, Snyder Cut <laughs> for HBO Max, is uh, the Green Lantern series. So, we'll see how that turns out. It is has a lot of money behind it, uh, but it is under the, the stewardship of Greg Berlanti. So, well... We'll see. Hopefully, uh, they can actually plot and not just lean on soap operas. With extra money, they can have the special effects to uh, look into superhero stories actually being superhero stories. Yeah, yeah, that might help. Anyway, that's it for Supergirl.
All right. Thank you for watching and listening. So why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my mini stores that have plenty of goodies for you. You know, hats, mugs, stickers, posters, all that goody, goody stuff. Plus, you can head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Plus, you can also catch my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, over at RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on my channel at BitChute. That's the Mr. Nelson channel on BitChute.com.